Okay, question four. Uh, we have a function here, function compare, with two parameters, x and y. We've got some code going on here. Um, we'll have a look at that in just a second. It says the function compare, this one, returns an integer value. Explain why a Boolean return value could not have been used. What does a Boolean return value? Well, that's zeros and ones. But you can clearly see here it's possible to return a 1, a minus 1, and a 0. So our answer to that is a Boolean only has true or false return values. But the compare function has 3 possible return values, 1, minus 1, and 0. Each of the following expressions evaluates to an integer. Give the integer value for each. Compare 4, 4. So let's have a look. Just um, highlight these. Compare 4, 4. So we've got 4 here and 4 here. X and Y both 4. If 4 is greater than 4. Is 4 greater than 4? No, it isn't. So we're going to this else statement now. So if 4 is less than 4, no, it isn't. So we're going to this else statement and we're going to return 0. Now we're going to look at compare 1 minus 1. So let's have a look. 1 and minus 1. Is 1 greater than minus 1? Yes, it is. So we're going to return 1. Now, we need to do this composite sort of structure here. So we're going to compare the result of compare 4, 4. So let's do that first. What's compare 4, 4? So we're going to put 4, 4 here. 4, 4. Is x greater than y? No. So... Uh, we're going to go into the else statement. This is x4 less than 4. No. So we're going to return 0. So this has a return value of 0. And what's 1 and minus 1? Oh, we'd already done that 0 here. I'm sorry. We didn't need to do that again. And 1 minus 1 is we'd already got 1 here. So actually what we're doing is we're com calling compare with 0 and 1. So what does compare with 0 and 1 produced? 0 and 1. So it says, is 0 greater than 1? No, it isn't. So else, is 0 less than 1? Yes, it is. So we return minus 1. And that's the end.